Commissioner Ian Clint, did you receive these psychiatric evaluations of Lisbeth Salander from Mikhail Blomqvist? I did. And what conclusions did you draw after studying these evaluations? That they were falsified. It seemed they had been created long before Peter Teleborian had the opportunity to see Lisbeth Salander at the prison in Stockholm. I would also like to add that they had been edited and revised by a Jonas Sunberg. That's a lie. Is it a lie? No, not at all. We have the proof. The documents are dated and the email correspondence between Peter Teleborian and Jonas Sandberg confirm their collaboration. Sandberg belongs to a rogue security group, an illegal operation established in the mid-1970s to protect Alexander Salashenko. The same group that is responsible for having Miss Salander committed to St. Stephen's in 1993. Jonas Sandberg is one of ten individuals being arrested today for crimes against this nation. We suspect them of having murdered Gunnar Björk, and possibly he is connected to another murder. We have a great deal of evidence and several confessions. Well, Mr. Teleborian, what have you got to say? There are two police officers waiting just outside the courtroom door. They're here to take Peter Teleborian in for questioning. Why is that? He's under arrest on suspected crimes against the child. Pornography Act. More specifically, for the possession of nearly 8,000 pornographic pictures and films of children. They're on his laptop. <clears throat> we'll be taking this. requires more time to process the new information the defense has brought to the table. But we see absolutely no reason to detain Lisbeth Salander one minute longer. You are free to go pending sentencing. 